Welcome everyone. I am Ms. Brenda and I am from Teresa's Dental Health. We are a nonprofit dental center and our patients range from babies all the way up to 102 years old. We take most insurance, including Medi-Cal Dental and affordable scale programs so that everyone who lives in San Mateo County can see the dentist to have healthier bodies and a healthier smile. Here, you can see me when I go visit your classrooms. Today, I am hanging out with Sonrisas at home. If you have not met Sonrisas, I hope you can meet very soon and help me brush its teeth. Look, there's Sonrisas. Hi, kids. Here, you can see a picture of the human body. I wanted to show you this picture because it's important to remember how vital our mouth is to the rest of the body and how keeping the rest of our body strong and healthy can also help keep our teeth strong and healthy. Can you help me name some parts of the human body? The first one helps us learn and think. I hope you pointed at the brain on the screen. Can you think of what helps us talk, smile, and eat? Yes, our mouth and teeth. This next one helps us store air when we breathe. Great job, our lungs that is. And this last one helps us store our food until we can digest it. Excellent, one belly rub on your stomachs that is. Whether it's after playing games inside or outside, eating our favorite meals or snacks, it's important to have water or milk on your hands. You may have heard about those little pink monsters you see on your screen. People call them by different names. Do you know any of them? If you were thinking of bacteria, you are right. We can also call them sugar bugs or germs. That green monster you see on the screen is bacteria. It feeds off of the food that we eat and stays on our teeth. If we don't remove it, the bacteria we eat our breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Nom 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 nom. This is what it looks like when bacteria or sugar bugs get strong and start to harm our teeth. Let me tell you a story about how bacteria harms our teeth. Here is Mr. Bacteria Bug. When Mr. Bacteria Bug eats the food from our teeth, it creates something called acid. When our happy teeth have acid on them that the bacteria made, it starts to break down our teeth. There are a few things that we can do to help our teeth remain happy. Can you think of one? Yes, if you said brush and floss, you are right. Let's play a game. The foods that make our teeth happy are those that we can have every day. And the foods that make our teeth sad, we should not have every day. Help me pick out how often we should eat the following foods. If we can eat the food every day because it makes our teeth happy, say every day. And if you think we should not eat the food because they make our teeth sad, say not every day. Let's practice. Here we have a chocolate bar. You should probably not have a chocolate bar every day. That would make your teeth sad. So you can say to your screen, not every day. Now here we have carrots. Carrots make your teeth and bodies happy. It would be okay to have carrots every day. You can say to your screen, every day. Let's play the game. Has anyone had an apple today? Would it be okay if we had one tomorrow? and the day after tomorrow? I think yes. So we can have an apple every day or not every day? Yes, every day. And how about cake? Do you think we can have cake every day or not every day? Probably not every day. That would make our teeth sad. But what do you guys think about soda? 
every day or not every day? That's right, not every day. And how about broccoli? This one should be easy. Every day or not every day? Great job, broccoli every day would be okay. Now how about donuts? Can we have donuts every day or not every day? You're right, not every day. How about cookies? We all love cookies. But would it make our teeth happy or sad if we had cookies every day? So is the answer every day or not every day? That's right, not every day. Now this one is one of my favorites. Who else loves cheese? Every day or not every day? Yes, cheese every day would make our teeth happy. Now do you think it would be okay if we ate avocados every day? Yes, avocados make our teeth and bodies happy. It would probably be okay to have them every day. Now here is a bag of chips. Every day or not every day? Wow, you guys are getting good. Not every day is the right answer. Here we have eggs. Every day or not every day? Every day would be okay. We can have scrambled eggs, hard boiled eggs, and sunny side up. How about candy? Every day or not every day? That's right, not every day. Candy makes our teeth sad. Last is milk. Can we have milk every day or not every day? Awesome, every day is the right answer. Let's look at our screen. On the left side, you can see the foods that make our teeth and bodies happy. We should try to have more of those foods. On the right side, you can see foods that make our teeth and bodies sad. We should try to have less of those foods and not have those foods every day. Brush, brush, brush. Now our teeth are even happier. Now that we know which foods make our teeth and bodies happy and healthy, it's important to remember we should brush at least twice a day for at least two minutes, making the number two a very special number. Two times a day for at least two minutes. Brush in the mornings for at least two minutes. And brush at night for at least two minutes. Do you know how much toothpaste you should use when you brush your teeth? The size of a nice rounded pea is what you will see. It will be enough to brush all of your teeth. Let me show you a video and you'll see. <laughs> Let's play another game. For this game, you must remember the special number. Do you remember the special number? The number two, that's right. Do you remember why? Well, the number two is special because we should brush at least two times a day for at least two minutes. We will get a star for every time we brush and we will also get a star if we brush for at least two minutes. If we brush for less than two minutes, we get half a star. But if we don't brush, we don't get a star at all. Let's practice. The monkey brushed in the morning for one minute. So the monkey will get one star for brushing in the morning and half a star for brushing for only one minute. The monkey will get a total of one and a half stars. If the monkey had brushed for two minutes instead, the monkey would have gotten a full star. Let's see which animal can get the most stars. The bear brushes before bed for two minutes. The bear will get one star for brushing before bed and one star for brushing for two minutes. The bear will get a total of two stars. The dog brushes before school for one minute and before bed for two minutes. The dog gets one star for brushing before school and how many stars for brushing for one minute? Is it half a star you're thinking? You're right, 
half a star for brushing for one minute. The dog will also get one star for brushing before bed. And how many stars for brushing for two minutes? That's right, one full star for brushing for two minutes. The cat brushes before school for two minutes and before bed for two minutes. Do you think the cat will get a full star or no star for brushing before school? Full star, that's right. And how about for brushing for two minutes? Full star or half a star? I hope you said full star. The cat will also get a full star for brushing before bed and a full star for brushing for two minutes. The cat will get a total of four stars. Let's see how many stars each of the animals got. The monkey got one and a half stars. The bear got two full stars. The dog got three and a half stars. And the cat got four full stars. Who do you think won? That's right, the cat won this time around. Can you tell me how many stars you want to get every day? Awesome, at least four stars I hope. Can we get more than four stars a day? Yes, we can. If we brush after lunch, we can get more stars. And if we floss our teeth, we can get more stars as well. Do you know how to floss? Not this kind of flossing. This kind. But after flossing with this, you can also do the flossing dance. It is very important to visit your dentist and dental hygienist at least two times a year. Here is a video of how the dentist will take a look at your teeth. Don't forget to drink water, eat healthy, and brush and floss your teeth. Keep count of how many stars you get and we can all share next time. I hope to see all of your happy teeth again, whether it's on screen or at school. Thank you all for joining us today. If you would like to find more information about Sonrisa's Dental Health, feel free to find us online at sonrisasdental.org. We have two locations, one in San Mateo and one in Coastside Half Moon Bay. For a full list of sources used in this presentation, please contact us via email at giveasmile at sonrisasdentalhealth.org or call 650-727-3500.